Yo, what's good future fam? Welcome to today's video. We're going to be taking a look at some simple crash pad tricks that are going to be effective in controlling the pace of a fight and also getting into people's boxes. Now, I know the crash pad has been around for a while, but I don't think there's one YouTube video that really just breaks down all the simple tips and tricks that you need to effectively use a crash pad. So this is going to be that video. It's going to be helpful for new players and also players who just need a quick resource and reference on how to use the crash pad effectively. So this video is going to feature four tricks in total and at the end I'm also going to link a bonus video that's going to teach you some extra tricks about crash pads. So without further ado I'm going to get straight into the video and not waste any time. So the first trick that I'm going to show you is the simple trick and it's the least effective trick. I really wouldn't even recommend doing this but it's just there to be you know thrown into the video just for completion's sake. So it's literally just running straight up into someone's wall and you know throwing a crash pad pulling out your palm and shooting them in full motion it's going to be something like this pulling out your palm and shooting them wherever they may be now another variation of this that a lot of people don't do is actually just if you just double jump you can get into somebody's box and the reason i prefer double jumping over you know just throwing my crash pad is i get to keep my gun out that way you know I don't have to have that delay in switching. The only problem is it doesn't get you in as cleanly when you double jump compared to a single jump. So that's the first trick, guys. The second trick, guys, is going to be boxing up diagonally next to your opponent's box. And this is going to be very simple because a lot of a lot of fights nowadays, you know, people tend to box up. You know, you take peaks like this. You know, you wait for someone to edit. You put a ramp in their box. You know, something like that. So a lot of people may not expect you to just crash pad unless you've revealed that you've had a crash pad so this is a great way to get in so again in full motion you before the crash pad you pull out your pump and you, know, you hopefully hit a nasty 200 pump another way again you can just double jump i like double jumping in this one because there is no uh, difference between double jumping in terms of where you go compared to the first trick that i showed and that way you have your gun out and you're ready to just you know pounce on your opponent so that's the second trick guys okay guys now it's time for the third trick and this one you're going to be approaching someone's box this one is usually quite useful when approaching this box from the top so what i like to do instead of just throwing the cone down and just getting in insta you know people are starting to begin to expect that especially if you're starting to play it you know in like champions lobbies uh, or, or division seven or whatever lobbies that you guys play in the arena so what i like to do is throw down a few throw down a few ramps first and when you throw down those ramps it kind of throws people off and they don't really expect it so by throwing down that ramp they might think you're going to drop down the side in actuality you're putting a cone down and you're going to catch them off guard a little bit more frequently than you would if you just you know insta just free down the cone and crash pad you can also do it with a ramp guys it's not only just dependent on the cone you can just put a ramp down throw the ramp there and then get in one thing i also like to do as you saw there was put a put a cone down and the reason i put the cone down is because most people when they get crash padded into and i wish i had someone in here with me but when people get crash padded into they normally put a, a ramp in their box insta and the reason they put that ramp in them but is to protect protect them from getting shot and when they put a ramp down it's really unfortunate for you if you crash pad in and you're like on the other side of this ramp because now you're in a situation where he's got edit control in pretty much everything and that's not a situation you want to be in especially in this piece control now so the one way to counter that is to just put a ramp down you know hit your opponent maybe make an edit like this then maybe start thinking of an ex ex exit strategy if you haven't already fully killed them. And then the final trick, guys, is going to be simply just boxing up diagonally next to your opponent and then throwing a, a crash pad off this wall, switching to your shotgun, pre-firing, replacing the wall, and then placing a cone and, you know, taking that shot against your opponent. Now, this one was very uh, highly popularized by FaZe Martos. I don't know if he created it, but I am giving credit to FaZe Martos. He's someone I do watch quite regularly and he always comes up with new crash pad tricks that people aren't really using. So again, in slow motion, so you throw the crash pad, it breaks these two walls. As it breaks, you wanna locate, or before it breaks, you wanna locate your opponent, pre-fire them and place a wall. I edit the wall, place a cone. You can also edit a window and place the cone. 
you know whatever you fancy doing you know i just feel like it's easier to make that edit you can right hand peek this and you know just play that angle but getting that pre-fight and then getting the wall as well it's just one of those things that just catches people off guard a lot more frequently than any other regular exploit and also you're not putting yourself in harm's way by getting into someone's box you know pre-fire you can even reset this if you're not even comfortable trying to get the wall let's say you're a high paying player but it's something that is a lot safer than exploiting and it's something i've started to do a lot more especially in like champions league lobbies but like i said when you're in the diagonally you can crash pad in like that or you can do something slightly different where you know you have this wall up here pre-fire and you take the wall okay so those are going to be the four tricks guys i hope you enjoyed that video like i said i will be linking the bonus video by a youtuber known as Ryu Zanami. he goes over the things that uh haven't really been discussed that much he talks about how to place two crash pads at once how to shoot instantly after placing a crash pad and also how to get crash pads to teleport into other people's boxes man these are some really useful strats that i'm going to be using in my game definitely and i think you guys should definitely check out that video you know i don't like to copy people's content i could have easily made it my own video but i just feel like that's just you know corny so go ahead and check out his video so yeah, guys that's going to be the end of the video make sure you drop me a like if you enjoyed the shorter tips and tricks style video i try and drop these ones every every now and again just to make sure that we're touching bases with new players who may be playing fortnite believe it or not there are still new players who may not know all these tricks and so these videos will help them out tremendously make sure you also subscribe to the channel for more content like this i post tips and tricks videos every week and i drop a video on my channel every you know seven days sometimes i drop two videos in a week very rarely but i do so make sure you subscribe and if you're new to keyboard and mouse a lot of my progression videos should help you out i also have videos on how to improve your aim and stuff like that so definitely check those out and lastly if you want to go the extra mile with supporting me use my code future one k in the item shop it helps me out tremendously when you buy skins using my code with that being said guys thank you so so much for watching this video Keep gaming guys and I'll see you in the next one.